4K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Philadelphia, home to one of the NBA's most historic teams, the 76ers. Here are the players arriving earlier, ready for action. It's dusk in the city of brotherly love. The light from the buildings creating a luminescent sky. We are set for game three in this Eastern Conference round one contest. It's been a lopsided 2-0 series, but that might change tonight. Alongside Hall of Famers Doris Burke and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce on the sidelines. Allie, it's all yours. Thanks, Brian. Well, current financial challenges have Commissioner Silver and the league office dusting off proposals for expansion. Silver said at some point, it's manifest destiny that the league will eventually expand. The last time that happened was 1988 with the Bobcats. Guys, Seattle fans hopeful things move along. Boy, Ali, wouldn't that be something? Looking at the starting five for the Boston Celtics. And for the 76ers, you take a look at the 76ers. This is a must-win game for them after they were unable to steal either of the first two. Yeah, must win indeed. Falling behind 3-0 as the lower seed is a death sentence. This team wanted a better round one performance than they've had so far. Tip at Boston. Here's Pierce. Outside. Rondo to the middle. Here's Perkins. Good. And it's Rondo who picks up the assist.
there's real synergy in play right now on the offensive end. The pass was right where it needed to be. Williams from long range buries it from three. Now you can get in his face, but Lou Williams would be undenied. He makes the jump shot under duress. Here's Pierce. Iguodala defending. Pierce gets the bucket. Yeah, uh, there's no quitting this guy. He just gives you great effort, and he continues to give you great production. About a minute into this first quarter, the rebound by Allen. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is, too. Blocked! Inside. Here's Iguodala, and he buries his first look. Well, you love that Andre Iguodala seems to relish an opportunity to have contact and have to finish anyway. Here's Perkins. Oh, got a piece of it. And now the Sixers on the break. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Two shots. Foul. Two. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Well, the veteran leadership, the unselfish attitude, and the versatility of Andre Iguodala, to me, this guy is excellent at whatever is asked of him. And he makes both free throws. Just over a minute and a half in. The Celtics have gone two of three to get this one going. Here's the teardrop. And the bucket is good from Rondo in deep. Well, instead of forcing it all the way to the cup, he just goes with that little teardrop. Pass to Brand. Here's Williams. Fades back got a piece of it. KG has always had tremendous instincts since another one back the way it came. The shot by Perkins, no good. You will have to finish harder than that if you want to convert the trap. And he bangs it home with one hand. He just rises up and throws it down hard with one hand. That is such a go-to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. Here's Garnett. up. Williams grabs the board. Well, you simply have to shake that one off, right? You can't let that kind of missed opportunity bother you. Here's Miller. Deflected! Here's Garnett. Here's Perkins. Outside. Rondo. Over Iguodala. Rondo's shot is off. Analytics already don't favor the mid-range jumper, let alone against exceptional defense. Out of bounds, it'll be Philadelphia's ball. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? Oh, you could feel the playoff intensity in that block. He's playing some extra aggressive defense out there. He has gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. From the high post. And it's Perkins with a rebound. Boston trailing. Out of bounds. It'll be Philadelphia's ball. You can tell the moment the pass left his hands, he knew he messed up. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in this first quarter. Here's Miller. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Brand. 
Here's Iguodala. He buries it from three. Iguodala's got seven points. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Boston calls timeout. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. Well, this is a chess match. Looking ahead a few moves and trying to execute toward that. The Celtics have gone three of seven so far. Outside, Rondo. Pass to Garnett. Fires it from 18. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Well, now we're speaking Kevin Garnett's language. One of the great mid-range shooting bigs in NBA history. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, my goodness. Good Cocked it back. An incredible dunk. Woo, did he leave the ground quickly. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. You know that block has in his teammates all fucked up. That is what playoff basketball is all about. Shoots a fadeaway. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. And this is a shot he can definitely make. And the defense not a factor at all. Blocked. And so it looks like it'll be Philadelphia ball. So it looks like the Sixers will retain possession here. He had the right idea, just couldn't come up with the swipe. Yeah, the anticipation was there. The hustle was there. Very close to picking that one. And Philadelphia has possession. Six-point game. Pass to Allen. The three. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Outside, Williams. Here's Miller. No good with the triple. For Boston, they've gotten 50% of their shots to fall so far. They're 5 of 10. Rondo gets the bucket. Good job attacking. Those restricted area shots are what every NBA team is looking for. The kick out to Williams. And a miss there on the triple. For Boston, they've gone 6 of 11 so far. Here's Perkins. And that misses. That would have put him up. It's been that kind of quarter for him. The shot has just been unreliable. Iguodala left side. It's rebounded by Pierce. Two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Great job drawing the foul. And almost converted the shot as well. up with that one and the Celtics making a change here and the free throw is good now leading by one you want to contest this guy's shot, but you absolutely don't want to send him to the line. He will make you pay. 
Philadelphia calls time here. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. Yeah, this is why you hate to lose momentum. It can be hard to get it back. And it's the Sixers with the ball. They trail by one. Well, they're calling his number time and time again, and he is delivering. Now here's Rondo. The D's right on him. And that one's good. Oh. And put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Boy, the tide is running one way and then shifts back in the other direction. I've lost count of how many lead changes we've had here tonight. William's shot is good. Well, the aggressive defense doesn't bother Lou Williams. They always send a ton of attention his way. Doesn't matter. From 18 feet away, he can't get that one to fall. And it's Philadelphia the other way. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Pass to Miller. Outside, Williams. Six to shoot. Here's Brand. Lays it up and banks it in. And now a 3-point 76ers lead. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. Here's Pierce. Driving inside. Here's Rondo. And the Celtics another three. Philadelphia has gone 2 of 5 from beyond the arc in the first quarter. Here's Miller. Pass to Brand. It's hauled in by Garnett. Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. Here's Allen. And he comes up with a bucket. Allen's got five now. That lack of defensive intensity is not going to stop a player of his caliber from scoring. Here's Brand. Here's Miller. Checked by Rondo. Now here's Williams. Takes the three. It's rebounded by Pierce. Here's Allen. He got Allen with some nice D. The Sixers trailing. Pass to Williams. The Sixers again can't hit. Williams is gone one for four from distance. There's the three. Rondo shot is off. The 76ers shooting just 38% so far in this one. With the floater. They get it back. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. And it's a completely new group for the 76ers. has possession it's a five-point game time called here the 76ers decide to talk it over <laughs> with the offense reeling coach has to get these guys on the same page and to me they're just taking too many tough shots and when they do get an easy one the confidence just isn't there by Davis. Here we go. It's picked off. Walker covering. 
shot to stop the run. Gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. Grab that one. However, so far they're getting a little opposite on the board. He's checked in for Allen. No good on the second free throw. Philadelphia shooting just 36% here in the first quarter. And they cash it in right away with a quick shot. Boston with the ball. Up top, Rondo. He's got 11. And the jam by Walker. The gliding the pass to where it needed to be. Wow, a strong finish to seal the deal. Pass to Green. We've got a minute 48 left in the first quarter. Soft touch off the glass. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Outside, Rondo. Here's Garnett. Shoots over Young. Garnett no good. Now the 76ers with it. Trailing by two. Checked by Davis. Davis with a rebound. Boston has gone two of three from three-point land so far. Outside, Rondo. And 101 left to play in the first quarter. Here's Davis. It's not going to go for him. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Back to Green. Here's Young, and he hits it to tie the game. Great timing and coordination. Lays it in, coming off that pick. Now here's Rondo, guarded by Young. Pass to Allen. It's stolen by Green. Shot clock and game clock, separated by less than six seconds. Out to the right wing. Oh, deflected. And it comes off the front of the rim. Walker with it. Outside, Rondo. Here's Garnett. Releases from fifth. Oh, and the buzzer beater is good! Makes his selection just in time. Well done. Well, finishing quarter strong. Every coach preaches it. Nice work. And at the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Celtics out in front, up by two. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. And the veteran Thaddeus Young not shy expressing his team's eagerness to face this matchup once again. We definitely um, have had our eyes on this game, <laughs> you know, for them coming back to our house and taking care of business. Uh, but that's what any team, we want to be able to beat each and every team that steps foot on the court with us. 
Oh, you love that competitive spirit, Grant. Oh, you do. Looking for a little redemption. I mean, they are motivated. And welcome back to our coverage of Game 3 on 2K Sports. All right, guys, what do you think about the Celtics here in this one? It's simple. When you can protect the rim the way they have, it's a big advantage. Total intimidation that first period. That is what has helped power them to this early lead. On the court for the Celtics. Second quarter underway. And it's House in a point guard. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. trailing Check by Davis and out of bounds Boston will have it and the Celtics making a change here The Celtics shooting it with confidence. 54% so far. Pass to House. Takes a three. Sinks it from distance. House has got his first three points of the game. Well, the 76ers shooting only 39% so far in the game. Right side, Young. It doesn't go for him. Excellent D there from Davis. Rebound by the 76ers. To the paint. Back to Young. Gets it to go. That makes him two for three in this game. Sees his man. Threads the pass inside. Excellent teamwork. Pass to Perkins. Here's House. And again, Boston with the triple. Backing up that last three with another three. The defense has to stop giving them so many clean looks. The ball's knocked loose. Ooh, stolen by Allen. That one's wide left. The 76ers have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Oh, there's the alley. And Young slams it in. The pass, the catch, the slam. What a clean play. Man, absolutely jaw-dropping. Nice shot by Walker. What an effective, efficient offensive possession. They'd love to get that shot every trip down the floor. Pass to Green. Lots of room. The rebound by Allen. Boston's gone two for two from outside the arc here in the second quarter. Davis with it. Push the lead to double digits. Walker covering. And the layup is good. Boston has gone four of six from three-point range thus far. Outside Davis. Pass to Walker. They swipe it. Walker with a steal. Almost four minutes gone in the second quarter of play. Here's Perkins, guarded by Young. This one for three. House misses. The 76ers have got three of six shots to go here in the second quarter. Walker with a steal. Pass to House. Back to Walker. And here's Allen. Outside Walker. Knocks it down from distance. Walker's got five points now in the quarter. 
this defense just can't stay connected to shooters. And Philadelphia calls time here. I don't think this timeout is just to give the guys a breather. Coach is looking to switch things up. And as you know, it's what comes after that gives you some sense of what has changed. And the Celtics making a change here. Now we get Dalla. 11 points in the game. And the shot goes. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happening to their defense. That's the pole. Here's how. for the layup. He has six. For Philadelphia, they've gone four for seven in the second quarter. Down low. Here's Williams. Count it. Williams has got seven. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. Here's House. He's got six. Pass to Allen. 4-3. Not going to go that time. The 76ers have gotten five of seven shots to fall in the second. Here's Brand. No good off the back of the rim. Boston's gone three of six from outside in the second quarter. Here's Poe. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. And the Celtics lead by nine. Here's Miller. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Pass to Williams. No good with a layup. Boston has gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. Here's Poe. Misses. Philadelphia shooting it solid 50% throughout the second. How about it if Dallas skying for the throw down? A little throwback dunk from Andre. Go ahead. Here's House. Here's Pierce. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And that one on Iguodala. And he drops the first. And so he hits both. The 76ers have gone 6 of 11 here in the second quarter. To the inside. Gets it to go. That makes him 2 for 3 in this game. They have no answer defensively inside. Here's Rondo. He's got 11. The shot's good. 
He's got 10. All right, starting to heat up now. He's been much more efficient with the shot in this quarter than in the first. Pass to Brand. Now Williams. Iguodala with the ball. Four on the clock. Fade away. And no good. Now the Celtics take it the other way. Now here's Rondo. Here's Garnett. Back to Rondo. Using his post moves to get the two points. And now it's an 11-point Celtic lead. Outside, Williams. Pass to Brand. Now Iguodala. He jams it straight down. Well, you can see it right there. Andre Iguodala. Let's remember this guy grew up in a more physical league. He will be undeterred by the contact. It's deflected. And he recovers it. He gets it in there. I'll tell you, you can't put your head down after a tough first quarter. You've got to keep fighting, and now he's starting to roll. Here's Williams. Knocks down the step back, Jay. Williams has gotten four this quarter. Now this guy is just a professional scorer. Lou Williams gets to the mid-range. Easy money, folks. Pass to Garnett. And they pick up two. And the Celtics lead by 11. Boy, when he's this deep, it's going to be tough to stop him, especially with a smaller defender. Here's Miller. Checked by Rondo. And it's going to be on Rajon Rondo. That's his first foul of the game. Here's Miller. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Here's Brand. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Shooting two. First free throw is good. He's perfect from the line this time. Here's Rondo. He's got 13. Pass to Pierce. From deep three-point range. Good. And it's Rondo who picks up the assist. He's got 15. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Over to the wing. Here's Pierce. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. He's putting them to the test this quarter, attacking every chance he gets. The 76ers shooting at a 48% clip from the floor. Williams against Allen. Shoots from 12. Williams misses. Boston's gotten six of ten three-pointers to drop. Allen attacking. Counted. His third and five attempts. In terms of offense, they've been the more efficient team by far. And I think because of that, they've gotten the better looks to start this basketball game. Pass to Williams. Step back and fire. No good that time. And it's Boston the other way. Here's Pierce. for three and again Boston with the triple well this guy has been efficient and effective all night that IQ has been on display 
Outside, Williams. To halt the run. And too long on the shot. Not his best night, and not the team's best night. Sometimes it just goes that way. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. The officials were right on top of that one. And he makes a first. The Celtics making a switch here. Allen's checked in. Goes good from the line that time. The 76ers shooting 53% here in the second quarter. To the middle. Here's Young. And Young slams it in. Now that's how you capitalize on a screen. Yeah, good positioning, too. Gave him a clear path to the hoop. Where was the defense? No fighting through the pick. No rotation. My goodness. That's what you call playing big. He just stays committed to the attack mode. Well, major height disadvantage. He recognizes that and still able to score it. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Pierce. Pass to Garnett. Here's Pierce. Iguodala defending. Back to Allen. Oh, from deep. Doesn't go for him. Iguodala outside. And he wills that one in, sinking it right through the back of the iron. Iguodala's got 19 points. With one on the clock. He got it up in time, but it would not fall for him. And so it's the Boston Celtics leading by 17 at the end of the period. Building this lead up in large part because of how well they're shooting it. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. And now. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Looking at Boston, we're only two and a half games into this series, but it's already looking like they've booked their place in the next round. Up two games to none with a huge lead tonight. They are in the driver's seat. And taking a look at the Celtics, Kenny, what did you see out there? There was no shortage of dimes on this team, that's for sure. Numerous guys just played good court business, moved the ball, led to great shots. They're in full control of this game right now. Shaq, what do you think about Philadelphia? Definitely they need to get out on the three-point shooters and contest. Oh, good. This is what happens when another team identifies your weakness. It just keeps hammering on it. And thanks for sticking with us as this round one game continues. Here's Miller, and out of bounds, Boston will have it. That almost looked like bad communication. You hate to see that kind of mistake. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. You know that block has him and his teammates all pumped up. That is what playoff basketball is all about. Boston's gone 7 of 13 from downtown so far in this game. And for the Celtics... Here's Pierce. Iguodala defending. Here's Perkins. Got a hand on it. Pass to Miller.
Inside. And that one is hammered home. Sometimes a player is born with a passer's mindset. He deals it with conviction. Shot from the wing. Perkins. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Celtics lead by 17. A hard blue-collar work ethic on display. This guy just beating everyone to the ball. Here's Brand. Basket counts. Give him eight. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Here's Pierce. 20 points for him. Allen can't get it to go. Well, trying to find themselves in the second half here. Just one for four from the field. Can someone in the group get hot? Let's see. The shot by Iguodala, no good for Boston. They've gotten only one of four shots to fall in the second half. Here's Pierce. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Not how they hoped to start this half. One for five, brick after brick. Let's start building the building. And it's out of bounds. The Sixers is able to retain possession here. Here's Iguodala. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Boston has gone 7 of 13 from downtown so far in this game. Right wing. Here's Pierce. And counted. 8 of 14 now. He's rolling. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. No, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for. Consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. Plenty of space. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. He's got 24. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Here's Miller. Checked by Rondo. It's Iguodala on the wing. Here's Miller. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got five rebounds tonight. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Here's Pierce. And the layup is good off the glass. And the Celtics lead by 18. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. This dude is capable of some memorable moves. He's showing off and having a little fun. Let's it go from 11. The shot won't fall. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. With some arc. And he lays it up and in. Williams has got 13 points. Well, the floater game has always been good for Sweet Lou. That shot is unblockable. Here's Allen. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. <laughs> Unreal play to take on the contact and get it to go. So both teams making some changes here. Philadelphia calls time here.
for Philadelphia. They've gone five for nine from the floor in the third quarter. And it's Iguodala off the drive. Iguodala at his best. A terrific drive. Gets to the rim with ease. For three, Allen. Shots no good. Made four. He's missed four now. The 76ers have gotten six of ten shots to fall in this third quarter. Now here's Iguodala. Walker covering. And that one good. He's got six. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Here's House. Six points for him. And the three-pointer goes. Well, after netting one in the first half, that's the second deep ball to go down for this guy. These calls can be so difficult for officials to make. Allen, he's checked in for Boston. On defense, the Celtics. Earlier in the game, they led by 19. Shot clock at six. Rebound, Boston. Pass to Allen. Fires from deep. And again, Boston with the triple. Wow, you don't see him left alone very often. And of course, he makes good use of it. Iguodala outside. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Well, he hasn't proven to be much of a floor spacer for them. He had the one three, but that was back in the first half. That's his shot. And one, I'm sure, he wants back. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. You love the determined nature of Andre Iguodala. Even when he gets bodied, he's willing to power through it. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Celtics. They've made the long-range shot look like a layup at times in this one. Yeah, something else that stands out tonight is how many assists they have. The 76ers making a switch here. Young's checked in. Boston has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Outside Davis. Here's Perkins. To the paint. Here's Walker. Count it. Good. Walker's got nine points. That pass was about the location. Puts it perfectly into the hands of his teammate. Walker covering. He takes the feet in stride and slams it home. Andre Iguodala got it cooking a little bit tonight. He never takes bad shots, and it's paid off. Here's Allen. That one doesn't drop. Green with the defensive effort. The 76ers shooting a nice 50% for the game. Walker covering. Misses from short range. The Celtics have gone 50% from the field in the third quarter. 8 of 16. Let's it fly. Offensive board. And down it goes. Two points. He has six. And this is exactly what he's capable of. He finds different ways to make an impact. This time on the offensive glass. How about the hustle on display there? That kind of effort will earn respect from everyone. Davis, the pass to Allen. Outside Walker. Let's the three fly. Nope, four for seven now. Boy, a wide open shot from his favorite spot. That is one he'd like to have back. The Celtics shooting 47% during this third quarter. Pass to Allen. 14 feet away. Allen can't get it to go. The 76ers shooting well here in the third, hitting 50% of their shots. Young with the bucket. I'll tell you, individually, he is doing all he can. But right now...
right now, somebody's got to step in and support this guy. Now Allen. Walker for three. Iguodala with the rebound. Iguodala's got seven rebounds in the game. Davis with a rebound. Wow, this defense is blanking him down the stretch, and that's certainly hurting his team's chances. His nimbleness makes him a unique threat at the rim. And Boston calls time here. Yeah, Coach no doubt wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. And the guys get a little bit of a break mentally, physically, just recharge here quickly. Both teams will make substitutions. Rondo with it. He's against Iguodala. Rondo gets the bucket. Rondo, he's got 17. Some fearless play there. Challenging the much larger defender and getting the best of him. Iguodala outside. In by Poe. Yeah, and it's amazing. Their slim advantage on the board seems a lot larger than it is. Now here's Allen. Tightly guarded. Down low. Here's Davis. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Davis has got his first points of the game. That pass had to be thrown not only in the right spot, but at the right time. Checked by Davis. That shot is off. Now Boston takes it the other way. Pass to Rondo. To the paint. And that one's good. Davis. Davis has gotten four this quarter. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. Now Iguodala. Allen defending. The rebound, Celtics. Allen's got six rebounds now in the game. Here's Poe. Good, and it's Rondo who picks up the assist. Rondo, he's got assist number 11 for him here tonight. That one goes in. Want to score in the NBA? Picks can really force the D to make tough choices. Boston's gone two of six from downtown here in the second half. Pass to Allen. Again, the Celtics good for two more. Their offense is really humming right now, and it's because of the beautiful ball distribution. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Iguodala outside. And here is Young. Checked by Rondo. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Good on that one. Yeah. 
And no good on the second free throw. So 0 for 2 there. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. The 76ers shooting 47% on this one. Looking efficient. Williams on the wing. Checked by Rondo. Here's Pierce. 26 points for him. 41 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Pass to Garnett. Tries a 10-footer. That one a little long. And the 76ers shooting 48% since the beginning of the third. Here's Young. It's tipped. Here's Pierce. Yes, sir. Great play by Rondo to set him up. And he's got 28 now. And an excellent job distributing the ball tonight. You can see his feel for the game and that's been his role pretty much from the opening tip get the ball to guys where they can score it here's Poe and a great job by the D contesting that shot and forcing the miss and so it's Boston a huge 24 point lead for them their efficiency has been off the charts they're running their sets well with patience and purpose all right stick around we'll be right back after this And the worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. He's always near the top of the list for this honor. I mean, passes like these are his specialty. Well, this is why great point guard play is so critical in today's NBA. And you see it right there on display. Thanks for joining us again for round one of the NBA playoffs. To the middle and it goes as the official calls the foul count it and he'll shoot one more at the line And it's the Sixers with the ball. Taking a look at the Celtics. Got it. Good job in the low post. Boston shooting it well. Around 55% for the game. Pass to Rondo. Here's Pierce. Drains it from nine feet away. Give him 30. Well, you love his effort level, right? Particularly when it's winning time. He is going for the finish. Williams in the post. Checked by Rondo. Williams misses. The Celtics on offense. Pass to Garnett. Here's Pierce. Let's it go from the wing. The shot misses. And for Philadelphia, they're shooting 46%. A decent average so far. The rebound, Celtics. Here's Garnett. Pass to Poe. Rebounded by Evans. The 76ers have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Takes one from 10 feet. Tipped. Out to the right wing. 
Pierce gets the bucket. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Here's Williams. Oh, made it a tough look for him as the defense really pressed up on him. Shot on the wing. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it. It's good. How about the veteran Garnett letting that play develop and the quick pass? Williams in the post. Checked by Rondo. Williams misses. The Celtics have gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. To the right side. Pass to Pierce. Here's House. From down in the low post, it goes. And they're really rolling right now. That lead keeps getting bigger and bigger. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Both teams deciding to change it up. about three minutes into the fourth now the Celtics have gotten five of their seven shots to fall in this final quarter and Walker here we go hey shooting the ball well he's five for nine in the game let's go, let's go, let's go. for Philadelphia they've gone two for seven from the field here in the fourth not great here's green and he banks in the layup and that's just nasty right there guys he has a tremendous crossover Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. we played about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter here. Pierce gets the bucket. Wow. They're really being taken advantage of defensively out there. No rim protection whatsoever. Boston with a rebound. Banked it in off the glass. He's got 38. <laughs> They're really working the paint now. Here's Miller. Pass to Green. Inside. Shoots. Well, the jumper's good from inside six feet. Boy, well, doesn't get any easier than that. What a size advantage and just goes to work. Here's House. Can't hit that one. Now the 76ers take it the other way. Green with the ball. And Walker picks him up defensively. Pass to Miller. Clock at six. No good on the three. The Celtics have gone 8 of 11 from the field in the fourth. Here's Scalabrini. And there's the rejection. Left side, Green. And it's hammered home by Green. Oh, that was nasty. A two-hand mega slam. Man, I don't think anyone was going to stop him there. Walker for three. Miller pulls it in. Well, the 76ers shooting just 38% here in the fourth. Evans, that's good. Great teamwork on that drive. Punctuated by a strong finish. Going right to the rim, which is where you want transition opportunities to end. Pass to Miller. Here's Evans. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That free throw, no good. Yeah. 
Good on the second one. Boston's shooting it well, around 55% for the game. Boston calls timeout. Things just aren't going their way. He clearly wants to talk it over. Well, night in and night out, sometimes it's a battle of runs. Who has the most? Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Green. The jump hook. And that one hits the back iron. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. To the inside. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. What an excellent post-entry pass. Good things happen when you make that next look. Oh, they need this. Here's House. Deflected. Tough break for the defense. I mean, he took the hit, but he didn't get the call. The 76ers have gotten 7 of 16 attempts to drop since the start of the fourth. Pass to Green. Going inside. And did not. He sends it right off the glass. And here's Walker. Here's Miles. Here's Scalabrini. Shot clock at six. Walker for three. That's a miss. His sixth miss in 11 tries. The rebound, Celtics. Got the ball where he wanted it, but then got swarmed. Offensive rebound. Second shot opportunity. It's tipped. Oh, he got him with a pump fake, but he couldn't finish. Boston's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Oh, got that one up quick. The 76ers shooting around 44%. Not bad. Floats one up. Here's House. Uses the glass on the layup. Simple. The closer you are to the hoop, the better your chance to score. Walker for three. That one no good. It's been an ugly quarter for him. Trying to shoot his way out of it. Might be time to work on the playmaking skills. The shot comes out. And Boston going the other way now. Pass to House. Here's Miles. And not going to go. He misses his first attempt of the night. Philadelphia shooting 33%. This hasn't been their quarter. Got a piece of it. He's off on that one. 
Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Outside, green. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. First one falls for him. And the 76ers making a change here. Good on both. Here's House. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Pass to Miller. To the paint. Here's Evans. The shot no good. Oh, nice D from Walker. Here's House. It falls. Five for 11 in the game. And I love it. Challenging the bigger defender and showing plenty of heart. It is not an easy task trying to convert against length. Give him credit for taking on that challenge. Down low. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. Just disrespectful. If the D gives him a clear path to the hoop, he will take it. Let's just say they were a little slow to react there. Yeah, and despite his restrictions offensively, you still have to close off the lane or he'll burn you. And he can't get that one. Philadelphia shooting about 43% on this one. And that'll wrap up game three. Now we'll look ahead towards an important game four for the Celtics. And you don't usually see this kind of blowout, but tonight they delivered the punishment. I mean, what's so impressive is they never wavered in their approach. They just kept at it and showed they were without a doubt the better team. And with their performance tonight, you have to think this series is all but over. It's impossible to see it any other way. And I don't think it's going to get past game four. If this doesn't end in a sweep, I'll be shocked. There's 47 seconds left in the fourth quarter. No one covering. And so it's Boston with it. Pass to Scalabrini. The kick out to Walker. Here's Miles. Back to Walker. Shot clock at five. The three ball. He drops it from range. What a performance tonight. Getting a win like this on the road is such a boost. You've got to be able to block out all distractions in enemy territory. This team did a tremendous job staying focused on the task at hand. They get it back. Boy, he's definitely covered well there. And hey, we know he can knock down the fadeaway shot. Just didn't fall there. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. And now that they're up 3-0, winning this whole series is well within their grasp. You think it's only a matter of time, but the postseason is all about expecting the unexpected. They need to stay focused and finish strong. And that about wraps it up for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference quarterfinals. For Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Doris Burke, and the rest of our 2K team, this is Brian Anderson signing off. So long and good night, everyone. <laughs>